It was early morning, April 19, 1775. An army of 700 British troops marched through the Massachusetts countryside. They had left Boston under the cover of night. Their goal? To seize Patriot weapons in the town of Concord, about 20 miles away. The British hoped to take the American rebels by surprise, but their march was no longer a secret. Hours before, Paul Revere, William Dawes, and several other Patriots rode through the night, warning of the British approach. Town bells rang out, calling the Minutemen to arms. At daybreak, the British arrived at Lexington. There, 77 untrained militiamen blocked their path. This ragtag group of volunteers faced an impressive British military force. A British officer called out, Lay down your arms, you rebels! But the militiamen held their ground. Neither side knew what would happen next. And then, someone fired! To this day, no one knows who shot first, the British or the Americans. After that, both sides lowered their guns and fired. When the smoke cleared, eight colonists lay dead or dying. Ten more were seriously wounded. The Lexington militia retreated, and the victorious British continued their march toward Concord. At Concord, the British found the Patriot weapons and smashed them. Just outside of town, colonial militiamen confronted the British. Men fell on either side. Dozens died, but the colonists won the day. The British troops turned and retreated toward Boston, but they had a long march ahead of them. The colonists followed the British army, firing on them from the forests and from behind fences and stone walls. The colonists' surprise attacks, a guerrilla style of fighting, were incredibly successful. By the time the British reached Boston, nearly one-third of their troops were dead or wounded. At Lexington and Concord, a ragtag colonial militia had dared to stand against the mighty British army, and they had won. It showed that some Americans were willing to fight and perhaps to die for their liberty. At the time, no one realized that fighting at Lexington and Concord would be the first shots of the Revolutionary War, a long and difficult struggle for independence and the beginning of a new nation, the United States of America.